So here we are. <coughs> After a few months of work, the arch top mandolin is finally completed. And I must say that I'm incredibly pleased with the way that it's turned out. And I shall definitely be, be making some more based on this design. So I'm pleased with every aspect of the instrument. <coughs> I mean, the main thing, of course, is, is the tone of any instrument, the playability, and of course the aesthetics. And in all of those aspects and areas, I'm really pleased with it. Let me just quickly run through the spec for you. So the width of the nut is 30 millimeters and the scowl length is the traditional 13 and 7 eighths of an inch or 352 millimeters if you prefer. The soundboard, hand carved from Engelmann spruce and there's some really beautiful mahogany for the back and sides. Yeah, there you, are. you can see how it's been carved. And if you remember, this was recycled from an antique desk. Um, it's super, really beautiful mahogany. Difficult to get wood of that quality these days. And I don't think I, I'd be exaggerating if I said that probably this tree was felled at least um, 150 years ago. The bindings are from some figured maple and they're actually from the same board as the neck so everything matches nicely and you'll see down the centre of the neck there's a laminated um, stripe I always laminate my necks because I think it gives much greater stability and the head has got a spliced joint and that I always feel is the most superior way of having this transition from um, neck to angled head. Inside the neck, running from the nut right the way into the fretboard extension are two strips of carbon fibre. So that should keep the neck absolutely dead straight, literally for forever. And because it runs the whole length, you won't get any of these kind of S-shaped distortions that sometimes you see over the um, neck joint. Now the fretboard is made from Brazilian rosewood and I've also used Brazilian rosewood for the head overlay, the heel cap, the bridge and the finger rest. And it occurred to me as I was thinking about this, this Brazilian rosewood was given to me when I was at college and a load of billet, billets were given to me by um, a fellow luthier. So I probably had these pieces of rosewood in stock for, would you believe, 40 years. Um, I've got lots of wood like that that I've, I've kept for a long, long time, and now's the time to start using it. Um, anyway, yes, the, the fretboard, Brazilian rosewood, wide Evo fret wire, slight camber, that's the way I prefer to do it. And um, certainly everybody who plays my instruments seems to like that. The... Uh, the finger rest is floating, it's just attached to, to the fretboard extension so it doesn't actually touch the soundboard and um, it's very thin but very rigid. The reason for that is that this is laminated with carbon fibre. The bone saddle and underneath that saddle is um, a piezo transducer and because the saddle is removable you can, if you wish, put shims underneath it to raise the action. I spend a long time setting up my instruments and when they go out, that action is what I, uh, what I consider to be the optimum for the instrument. So we've also got um, a cast towel piece and you can see where the jack socket is here for the uh, piezo. It's also um, acts as a strap pin. And whilst we're talking about hardware, we've got these uh, nice go to M40 tuners and these have got Ivoroid buttons which I think match really nicely with the uh, with the bindings. Um, as far as finish is concerned um, it's a shellac based finish and there's probably about 15 coats on there each one cut back with um, incredibly fine abrasive paper 2000 um, wet or dry 
and then the last coat, the whole thing is hand buffed with um, a micro crystalline wax. And that gives it this wonderful satin, silky, very natural finish. And of course, being a very light finish, it doesn't affect the tone of the instrument at all. So there we are. That I think is pretty much the spec of this particular mandolin. Well, normally I'd be saying to you, um, you can find details out how to purchase this mandolin on my website, but it has been already um, sold <coughs> and the new owner will be collecting it this weekend. And it'd be, be a real pleasure to actually meet him, see his reaction, listen, listen to him play, etc. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you watched all of the videos about the construction of this instrument, I hope you found them enjoyable and informative. So that's all from me for now. So thanks a lot and take care. Cheers.